Tuesday night is Willie Mays night. And before a tremendous crowd here at Jay Stadium. Men set to go here against the St. Louis Cardinals. And here for the play-by-play, -play, Lindsey Nelson. Thank you very much, Ralph Scott. And hello again, everybody. Lou Brock will lead it off for the St. Louis Cardinals. He's hitting 292. He has six homers and 61 runs batted in. Left-hand batter facing left-hand pitcher, George Stone. Brock is a notorious first ball hitter. Wayne Garrett against Brock Speed has moved in on the grass at third base. Stone turns to take the sign from Jerry Grody. Outfield defense straight away. Here's the pitch, and it's one on foul back. It's strike one. Waiting on deck. For the St. Louis Cardinals, it's dead five more. Well, there's Bunnett to the third base side. Garrett has it. He guns it on inside, and Brock is out. Tried to bunny his way on. And instead, he goes out, Garrett, over to John Milner at first base. Ed Sizemore, hitting 275, one homer and 52 runs out of end. Right-hand batter. Again goes into the motion, and here is the pitch. It is high for a ball. Tommy Hagee is now out there on deck. Mets are playing an infield defense now of John Milner at first base, Felix Nahn at second. Bud Harrelson is short, Wayne Garrett at third. That's a base hit into left field. Field out there by Sizemore. Leon Jones over up with his place at back. Sizemore turns and holds with a single and up. That brings up right hand batting center fielder Tommy Hagee, former Met, who's hitting 224. 10 homers and 20 runs out of that. is out of the ball game. He started for Chicago, and Ray Burris has relieved him. Ken Brett, 12 and 8, is on the round for the fill. Nick Colosi. The umpire behind the plate. Trying to get a banner removed from the foul pole down the right field corner. John McSherry, the umpire down there, motioning up to a couple of fans that that banner will have to be moved over in the foul territory before the game can proceed. George Stone turns to get ready to work again. Up and set to the stage. And it's in there for a call start. Ed Simmons is on deck. Again, Stone checks the runner at first. Simmons takes it, or rather, Sizemore takes his lead. The breaking pitch is low. It's one and one. Deliveries on the way. Swung on and hit way back in left field. Leon Jones goes to the wall and it is gone. A two run homer for Tommy Agee over the left field fence and the Cardinals are leading by a score of two to nothing. For Tommy Agee is 11th home run. 22 runs out of this year for Agee. So quickly the St. Louis Cardinals are out. Two nothing. One man out, nobody on, and Simmons is coming up. He is a switch hitter, batting right. Hitting 306 with 12 homers and 87 runs batted in. Stone is taking a moment before getting ready to work now. To Simmons. He goes into the motion, and here is the pitch. Fastball in for a call strike. It's 0 and 1. Simmons bluffed into running stance. Joe Torrey has moved out on deck. Benson is the coach at third, and Johnny Lewis is the coach at first. Playing a foul ball off to the left side, out of play. George Stone is 1-0 against the Cardinals this year. His lifetime record against them is six wins and three losses. Overall, Stone has won 12 games and lost three for the Mets this year. Here's a swing and a foul ball off and out of play. Pull down the left field line. 0-2 to count to Simmons.
Gary Brody flashes his sign. George Stone into the motion. Two strike delivery. Swung on. Field into left field for a base hit. Leon Jones over. Up with it now. Plays it back in Simmons. Harrington holds with a single, and the phone is ringing in the mid bullpen. Bullpen coach Joe Pignatano has been called to the phone. Joe Torrey is coming up. Torrey is hitting 287. He has 13 homers and 69 runs batted in. He's playing with a sore shoulder of late. Harry Parker is going to be throwing down there in the Mets bullpen at any moment. Harry Parker will begin throwing in any moment now. The base hit by Simmons extended his hitting streak to 10 consecutive games. Conference at the mound now. Harrelson's in there. So is Mian with George Stone. One man out. Runner at first. Joe Torrey the batter. Torrey who brought our co-captain to the St. Louis Cardinals. George Stone sets up the left-hander with the pitch to the right-hand batter, and it's low for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Luis Melendez is on deck now for the St. Louis Cardinals. They start today trailing the New York Mets by one game. However, two games. They fill the Pittsburgh Pirates by one game. Here's the 1-0 oh delivery. Filled into right field. Foul ball. Foul ball. Down the right field line. And so all the way around second. Simmons has to cut across, coming back to first. Joe Torrey comes back to the plate. The count to him is one ball and one strike. Ryan, that one, down the right field line, but a foul ball. Harry Parker is throwing in the net bullpen. Now again, Stone sets up. Ball on, ball up to the right side, out of play. There is a bus located in the parking lot straight away center field and there must be 25 fans on top of that bus getting a glimpse of the ball game across the outfield fence. They are packed and jammed onto the subway platform beyond the right field corner. Here's a one-two pitch. Going on it on the ground right back to Stone. He goes to Leon. There's one to throw the first down. is the pitcher on the mound for the St. Louis Cardinals. He is a right-hander. Again, this season with the Texas Rangers. He was obtained by the Cardinals in exchange for Mike Nagy. Nagy was subsequently traded back to the Redbirds in exchange for Jim Bibby. At Tulsa this year, Thompson had a record of seven wins and seven losses and an ERA of 2.83. He had four complete games. He was one and two in the 1973 playoffs. Got 22 men and 23 innings in the playoffs. Michael Wayne Thompson. And in Nebraska Western College and Oklahoma State University. Wayne Garrett will lead it off for the New York Mets. Garrett is hitting 246. 15 homers, 53 runs batted in. He had a two-run homer yesterday that provided the Mets with a two-nothing victory over the card. game between the Pirates and the Expos at Montreal. They're going to the bottom of the second inning. Uh, they are in the bottom of the second inning, and the score is tied 1-1. Ken Singlin hit his 23rd homer for Montreal in the second. The pitch to Garrett is on away for a ball. That was also the 100th run batted in this season by Singleton. Bruce Keaton is going against Bill Stillman in the first game. They'll play two at Gary Park today. Rained out yesterday. There's the pitch on the turn -off. They're going to the third inning, and the Phils are leading the Cubs by a score of 4-1. to one. Ray Burris in relief of Rick Rush are going against Ken Brett. Atlanta at Houston later. Henry Aaron had a home run last night, the 712th of his Major League career. He needs two now to tie the career mark of Babe Ruth at 714. San Diego at San Francisco later. That pitch is low for a ball. It goes to 3-0. Cincinnati at Los Angeles. Cincinnati Magic number is one. They've already clinched the tie. Three and zero. The Cubs and Garrett. As catcher Ted Simmons just called time and gone to the mound to talk to Mike Thompson. Felix Mian is on deck. 
Jay Stadium, packed and jammed here this afternoon. Here's the 3-0 delivery. Fired right down the pipe. The takes down was given, and it's 3-1. Eddie Yost is on the line to third. He's passing on the information to Garrett right now. Roy McMillan is the net coach at first. Outfield defense swung toward right, 3-1 pitch. And it's in there for a call strike, too. So the count is full at 3-2 and two now to Wayne Garrett. Rich Fulkers is up and throwing in the bullpen for the Cardinals. First inning action in the Cardinal bullpen as well. Left-hander Rich Fulkers is throwing. He's a former Met. Here's a playoff pitch to Garrett. Low when he walks it. So the Mets pick up an early base runner. A base on balls to Wayne Garrett and Felix Leon is about it. Leon is hitting 291. Three homers and 36 runs out of that. He has 179 base hits. He is three short of the club record of 182, a record, incidentally, that is held by Tommy Agee. He had 182 base hits at the Met in 1970 to set that mark. Rusty Staub has moved up on deck. Ken Reeves is on the grass at third. Now Mike Thompson with the pitch. Swung on, and it is foul. Down pass for McMillan. The coach at first base. Mike Thompson is 24 years of age. He's six feet three inches tall, 205 pounders. This is his first appearance ever against the New York Mets. Goes to first base, not in time. Joe Torrey returns the ball to the mound. Temperature 79 degrees at game time. Thompson again sets up and deals a pitch. Swung on and it's flat. Elsewhere in the National League, Pittsburgh 
yards for Montreal Expos are playing a pair at Montreal. They're in the bottom of the second inning of the first game, score tied 1-1. Bruce Keeson 2-0 against Bill Stolman, 4-7. Kenny Singleton hit his 23rd homer, drove in his 100th run for Montreal in the bottom of the second. In the top of the third at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, the Phillies for the Cup one. Rick Rushel started for Chicago, 114 lost 15. Ray Burris to lead him in the first inning. Ken Brett, 12 and 8, going for the Phil. Atlanta at Houston later, San Diego at San Francisco later, Cincinnati at Los Angeles later, and Cincinnati can nail down the pennant in the Western Division with a win. The magic number is one. They've already clinched the tie. The American League, the Yankees are at Cleveland for a doubleheader. First game is in the fifth inning, and the Yankees are leading 4-1. to one. Bill Stottlemyre, 14-16 and 16 against Dick Tidrow, 13-5. and five. Ronnie Bloomberg hit his 11th home in the second with nobody on. Otto Velez hit his first in the second with nobody on, and Velez hit another. In the middle of the fourth inning, Detroit won Boston nothing. Luis Tiant, 19-12, and 12, against Joe Coleman, 21-15. Baltimore at Milwaukee, Dave McNally 16 and 16 against Jim Slayton 12 and 13. The Oakland A's have clinched the tie and they're at Chicago against the Chicago White Sox. Vida Blue is bidding to become a 20 game winner today. He's won 19, lost 9. Wilbur Wood has won 24 and lost 19 for the White Sox. California Angels are at Minnesota later and the Texas Rangers are at Kansas City later. Nick Colosi, the plate umpire, has gone out to the mound now. And he is looking at the glove of Rich Foker, looking at the back of it. He turns it over, and uh, now he is marching over towards the New York Mets dugout. Apparently, that instruction was made at the insistence of the Mets. Pelosi is now saying something to manager Yogi Berra of the New York Mets. Berra has walked out of the dugout to meet him. Captain Joe Torrey of the Cardinals came over towards the mound. Pelosi is talking now to Yogi Berra. Pelosi went out and inspected the glove. Let us tell you that in the first inning at Philadelphia, the Cubs got one with two out in the first, and Williams double and Sanzo got, got singled him home. And then the Phillies got four in their half. We'll tell you about that later, because right now, Rusty Staub is in and waiting. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. The Cardinals leading 2-0. That's batting in the bottom of the first. The big check swing down ball to the right side. Taken by Sire for he goes to second for the fourth. There's no throwback. And Jared moves to third. So they get the middle man. It is a check swing ground ball to the right side. Sire for took it. Gunned it over to Mike Tyson at second for fourth. On Leon. So Staub is at first. Garrett is third. And on Miller is up. Also, a left hand batter. He's hitting 247 with 23 home runs and 70 runs batted in. Poker sets up. Here's the pitch. And it's a fastball inside. Ball one. Leon Jones has moved out on deck. The Cardinals got their two runs in the top of the first when Tommy Agee hit a two run homer. Now, here's the pitch to Milner. It is low for a ball. 2 and 0 to count John Milner. Cardinals now have a catcher, Mark Hill, throwing in the bullpen. Catcher, Mark Hill. And now, Pelosi asks to inspect the baseball. He walks out. It is tossed to him by Focus, and he fires it back out to Rich Focus. 2-0 the count. Gary takes his lead at third. Rusty Stout takes his lead at first base. Here's a 2-0 delivery. Low of a summer's out in front of the plate. There is no advance. 3-0 is the count to Milner. Rich Focus is one pitch away from walking the bases loaded here. And Cleon Jones, a right-hand batter, is on deck. Torrey is holding against the runner at first. Reed playing wide of the bag at third. Here is the pitch. He's taking all the way in a 10 for a call strike. In taking the pitch, Miller moved around in an exaggerated bunning stance. He was taking the pitch all the way. He has looked down to sign man Eddie Yost to see if he's turned loose on a 3-1. Runners have taken their leads at first and third as Rich Folker sets up off the stretch. And here is the pitch. Swung on it on the air. They're relatively short center field. AG moves up. Garrett comes off the bag and holds up. Catch is made by AG. There is no advance. Two Mets are out. Runners holding first and third. That'll bring up Cleon Jones. A high 
high pop fly to short center field by Milner. Leon Jones, who's had a hot from late, is hitting 259 of the year, seven homers and 42 runs batted in. The Phillies got their four in the bottom of the first inning. And Grabarkowitz, Unzo, Montanez, and Lusinski put four singles together for two runs, chasing Rushel. Burris came in to pitch for Chicago. Bill Robinson greeted him with a double for one run. Boone walked, but Schmidt struck out. Greg Robinson hit into a fourth play at the plate, but when Hunley threw wild trying to complete a double play at first base, Bill Robinson scored. Hunley hurt his knee and had to be removed from the game. Now, the pitch to Cleon George is low and away for a ball. Sitting at Montreal, Parker double for the Pirates, and Oliver single for the run, and then Ken Singlin hit a home run to provide Montreal with a run in the bottom of the second. Tie. There's a pitch low for a ball. 2-0, the count to Cleon Jones. Dave Schneck is on deck. Cardinals are leading 2-0. The Mets are batting in the bottom of the first inning. Shea Stadium in New York. Throw to first base is not in time. Two and now the pitch to Cleon Jones. Low. Got his run three and oh. Now you'll recall that Focus went three and oh on John Milner. And he went three one and Milner popped up the three one pitch. He has gone three oh to Cleon Jones. Schneck on deck is a left hand batter. Cleon is reading the information to see if he's turned loose. Side. He was turned loose and he took the cut. Fouled it off to the right side and the count is three and one. Leon moves back into the batter's box. Torrey holds against the runner at first. Again, Reed playing a deep third base against the right hand batter. Marches up to the top of the mound now. Looks in to catch with Ted Simmons for his time. Here's a 3 1 pick. It's high. Jones walks. The bases are loaded. Dave Schneck goes back to the dugout, and Don Hahn is going to bat for him. Right hand batting Don Hahn is coming up. This is simply a righty lefty switch. The Mets are making a righty lefty switch. They have been platooning Dave Schneck and Don Hahn right along. Here today, the Cardinals started the right handed, but not for long. So Don Hahn is being sent up to bat for Schneck. Hahn will now be stay in the game in center field. Don Hahn is a right-hand batter who has an average of 232. He's had two homers and 21 runs out of them. But in recent weeks, he's delivered some big hits for the New York Mets. Equipment. 
Apparently there are people who are of the opinion that he's added more than a fork ball to his repertoire. He goes to the Rosenberg. Ned Runner's lead at first, second, and third. about a time or two as it's Cog now focus on the motion one two pitch swung on fouled off to the right side out of it was a breaking pitch fouled off to the right side and the count continues at one and two again the net runners lead all around the pitch to Han breaking pitch to the side but it was just off the corner, so the count is even at two and two. Now the two-two delivery. Swung on and it's loud, off the road. A focus, the second by side, more over to Tyson for the fourth, suddenly tires the side. That ball was lined off the leg. A pitcher rich focus changed direction so that Second baseman Sizemore could get to it. He flipped to Tyson for the fourth play on Cleon Jones. That retires the side. So the Mets do not score. They had a hit. No errors with three men left. And at the end of an inning, the score is the Cardinals two and the Mets nothing. And Montreal in the first game of the doubleheader, the Pirates and the Expos are now in the fourth inning, still tied 1-1. In Philadelphia, the Cubs and the Phillies are in the fourth inning with the Bills leading 4-1. Luis Melendez is coming up now to face George Stone. Melendez is hitting 262. He has two homers and 35 runs batted in. He's a right-hand batter. Garrett, even with the bat, even with the grass at third. George Stone, left-hander, into the motion. Pitch is foul back. It's out of play for strike one. Dan Reese is on deck for the St. Louis Cardinals of manager Red Chambers, who got off to the worst start in their history this year, and then turned it all around and were on top for a long stretch of the season before fading of late. Here's a pitch. Come on, swung on and lined in the center, 10 for a base hit. One hopped out there by Don Hahn, and so Melendez has a leadoff single. That is the fourth hit for the cards off George Stone. Hitting 234, he has six homers and 41 runs batted in. We're getting action in the mid bullpen again as Harry Parker gets up to throw. Harry Parker warmed up in the first inning. He's warming up here in the second inning. George Stone again sets up. And the pitch is fired in there for a call strike. Reese bluffed into a bunning stance and taking the pitch. It's 0 1. Mike Tyson's on deck. Again, Stone checks the runner, throws to first, not in time. The Mets have purchased right-hand pitcher Bob Miller from the Detroit Tigers. He is here. He is in uniform, wearing number 30, as a matter of fact. He was an original Met back in 1962. Here's a swing and a miss. It's 0-2. did not score on the top of the fourth inning. Montreal coming up in the bottom of the fourth with the score tied 1-1. On 0-2 pitch. Swung on, hit on the ground to second. Leon has it. He goes over half and there's one to throw to first. Double play. A perfect double play ball. Bounce to Leon at second. Lifted over to Harrelson, who gunned it on to Milner. Four, six, three. Two men out, nobody on. Mike Tyson, the number eight man in the order, is at the plate. Tyson's hitting 242. He has one homer and 32 runs better than. Start of the year, Ray Bussey was the shortstop for St. Louis Cardinals. But could not quite put it together, and so they replaced him with Tyson. Here's a swing and a foul ball off and out of play. On deck is the pitcher now, Rich Folker. Tyson hasn't played all that well at short either, but compared to Bussey, he has. Tyson has made 29 errors at shortstop. That's 
a swing and a high pop foul toward the Cardinal dugout. It is drifting toward the stands and it's out of play. Jerry Grody climbing the barrier there at the corner of the dugout, but to no avail. Two strike out now to Tyson. This is one of those circumstances where you try as best you can to retire this batter so that you have the pitcher leading off the next inning. Two men out, nobody on base. The number eight man in the order at the plate. Stone does a little groundskeeping out there around the mound. Stone has won 12 games and lost three. Two strike delivery from our line and the left for a base hit. Picked up by Jones and played back in Tyson. And lined a single to left. That is five hits so far that the, Pittsburgh, that the uh, St. Louis Cardinals have. Off George Stone and with two men out, Rich Focus is coming up. He's two for 19 at the plate this year. He's had two hits and 19 times at bat. Rich Folker. He's a left-hand batter. So far, George Stone hasn't fooled anybody very much. As the St. Louis Cardinals got three hits in the first inning, including the two run over by eight, and they've had two hits here in the second. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. holding against the runner at first base. Johnny Lewis on the coaching lines at first. Vern Benson at third. Has a fastball in for a call strike. It's 0 2. Lou Brock is on deck now. Down again sets up. Offers 0 2. Swung on and missed. Struck him out to retire the side. So, no runs, two hits, no run out. In the middle of the second inning, the score is the Cardinals 2 and the Mets nothing. Well, the Chicago Cubs now come in fan zone. Is it a two-run homer in the fourth inning? His sixth of the year. So with the Cubs still batting, it is now the Phillies 4 and the Cubs 3. Meanwhile, Montreal did not score in the bottom of the fourth. The Pirates are coming up in the top of the fifth inning. First game of a doubleheader. Pittsburgh 1, Montreal 1. Jerry Grody will lead it off for the Mets. Brady is hitting 252. He has one homer and 28 runs batted in. The crowd here today will put the Mets over the 1,800,000 mark. And home paid attendance for the season so far. Here's a ground ball to second. Sizemore makes the play on to Torrey in time, and Grody on one pitch is grounded out. Second to first. Bud Harrelson is the batter now. He is a switch hitter. He's batting right. He's hitting 259. He has 20 runs batted in. Mike Thompson started today for the Cardinals, but did not stay long. He walked Garrett. Millan got a base hit, and that was all as they made the switch to the left hand to Rich Focus, who had been warming up right from the start. Reese is on the grass at third. Harrelson shortens up, bluffs the bunt, takes the pitch in the strike zone. It's 0 and 1. And now Lute Barnes is on deck to bat for George Stone. Lute Barnes is on deck. Here's a pitch outside. Harry Parker continuing to throw in the bullpen. Folkers gets the sign again. The pitch is swung on it in the air to left, and Lou Brock is backing up, backing up, back settling, and gets to the edge of the track to make the catch. Never did turn around and go back. He just kept back settling. Lou Barnes will bat for George Stone. Barnes has not had an official time at bat. Since coming up to the net from... At Triple A Farm Club in Tidewater, Virginia. He was up for the Mets last year. Lou Barnes. So Stone is out of the ball game. There's two innings. Gave up two runs on five hits. Struck out one and walked nine. 
There's a fastball in for a call. Strike out the knees. Wayne Garrett's on deck. Lou Barnes this year hit 226 at Tidewater. He had five home runs and drove in 47. Stole 22 bases. Here's a swing and a miss. It's two strikes now to Lou Barnes. Nolan Ryan is pitching today for the California Angels. He has won 19, lost 16, and struck out 355 batters. Set a new American League record. At 10 for a call, strike three, and Lou Barnes looks at a tall third strike right down the pipe. The side is retired in order. It is nothing across. And at the end of two innings, the score is the Cardinals two and the Mets nothing. Harry Barker, the new pitcher for the Mets. Harry making his 37th appearance. He's appeared nine times as a starter. Has a record of seven wins and three losses. He's had five saves. Last time out, he picked up a save for Stone. Shouldn't say last time out. Last time he picked up a save, it was in relief of George Stone. That was back on September 1st. This is Harry's first appearance since September 20th. Cubs have tied up their game with Philadelphia at 4-4, with the Phillies batting in the bottom of the fourth. And Harry Parker will be pitching to Lou Brock as his first batter. George Stone went two innings, was charged with two runs, gave up five base hits, got helped out by two double plays. He struck out one. The pitcher, Rich Volker. So both starting pitchers removed early in the ball game as both managers play this one right to the hill. In the fourth inning for the Cubs, Cardinal walks and fans own it a six home run to make it their fourth three ball game. Then with one out, Rudolph was safe on Craig Robinson's error. Burris sacrificed him along, and he scored on a double by Kessinger, and the score tied at 4-4. Brock tried to bunt his way on his first time up and was thrown out by Wayne Garrett. Garrett guarding again against the bunt. Here's the first pitch by Parker. Fastball. It's outside the ball. Brock hitting 292. Parker back. And a fastball over the inside corner, a call strike, it's one and one. Brock has 68 stolen bases, 633 in his entire career. There's a check in the swing, the pitch is low, and it's two balls and one strike. Brock is ninth in the all-time stolen base list. He's been thrown out 18 times this year. 86 attempts. Next pitch is hit high in the air to left field. A lot of time for Jones to get under the ball. He does, and he makes the catch. I will bring up Ted Sizemore. He has a single in his one appearance. Came home aboard the home run by Tommy Agee in the first inning. Agee on deck. Sizemore batting 276. He has one home run, 52 runs batted in. Going to the bottom of the fifth, Pittsburgh won, Montreal won in the first game of their doubleheader. They have two doubleheaders to play. First thing, lower the ball. Carlson playing over in the hole at shortstop against the right-hand batter. Pitch back to the plate over the inside corner. A called strike. It's one and one. Locker, a right-hander. Started the year with... The Mets is a starting pitcher. Now he comes back to the plate, and the pitch is hit on the ground. Foley to third, fielded by Garrett to throw to first for the out. That'll bring up Tommy Agee, who homered in the first inning. It was his 11th homer of the year. Agee hitting 227. He has 22 runs batted in. his first time up. And the first pitch is a fastball over the inside corner, a call strike. Cardinal 
Wells leading two to nothing. Two men out, top of the third inning. Pitch back is hit on the ground toward Milner at first base. He comes up with the ball, goes to the back, and the side retired in order by Harry Parker. The score at the end of two and a half innings, the Cardinals two, the Mets nothing. It's the Mets half of the third with the Cardinals leading two to nothing, and the Mets will have Wayne Garrett to lead off. Cardinals have two runs on five hits. They made no errors. The Mets have no runs and one base hit. They made no errors. Garrett walked his first time up in a 3-2 pitch. He's had a good week. He's had 10 hits and 30 times up. Two home runs, five runs batted in, and scored six runs. Overall, he's hitting 246 with 15 home runs and 53 runs batted in. And batting for the first time against Rich Fulton. The first pitch is swung on and fouled back at strike one. has pitched the seven batters. He's walked one. Got all the others out. Mike Thompson started the game for the Cardinals, pitched the two batters, and was relieved. He walked Wayne Garrett, gave up a single to Felix Leon. Here's a pitch back inside. It's one and one. Garrett walking in the first was walked for the 68th time this year. Now the one-one pitch. Garrett takes it high inside. Two balls and one strike. Garrett has 119 hits, his career high. 2-1 pitch, and he almost gets hit as the pitch is inside. Three balls and one strike. That's left the bases loaded in the first inning. They were retired 1-2-3 in the second. Three balls, one strike. And Fulker's next pitch is high and inside, and Garrett walks for the second time. Felix Mahon, Felix single to right center field his first time up. Mahon hitting 292, three home runs, 36 runs ratted in. He has 180 base hits. Two shy of tying Tommy Agee's mark of 182 for club record. And focus from the set position. His first pitch is taken high, a ball. Time called is Joe Torrey. Comes over from first base to talk with the pitcher. Milwaukee did not, pardon me, Montreal did not score in the bottom of the fifth, so Pittsburgh batting in the top of the sixth with a score tied at 1 1. Uh, Torrey back to the bag. Poker is set to go, and the 1 0 pitch. It's high, ball two. Two balls and no strike. throwing in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Orlando Pena throw to first base and Garrett back easily. We'll see a parade of pitchers in this ball game if there are any hitting threats. The 2-0 -oh pitch. High ball three. Three balls for a shot. Now it's Simmons going out to mound the talk to the pitcher. Ed Simmons, the catcher. have lost 79 games. If they would lose today, that it would mark it at 80. And if the Mets would win and Pittsburgh would win, they'd be four back in the loss column to the Pittsburgh Pirates with six games to play and three games back to the Mets. And no games against either club. So this is just like the playoffs right now for Red Dandy. Now time is back in. Here's the pitch over the plate for a call. Strike it three and one. Three balls, one strike. Garrett leads off at first base. Poker sets up. And a throw to first base. Garrett back easily. Sun breaking through the overcast right at this point and it's very bright. Again, Garrett leads off. Poker sets up. And the pitch. Leon takes it high, ball four, and the Mets have a tying run at first base. 
Garrett moving down to second base, and here comes pitching coach Barney Schultz out to the mound. Two consecutive walks, going out, and the batter coming up as Rusty Shaw. Rusty on a check swing, grounded into a fourth play his first time up. He was the first man that Fulker's face when he came in the game. Fulkers has pitched to nine batters. He has walked three, given up no hits. Arnie Schultz, the pitching coach, now going back to the bench, and Rusty Scott stepping up. Stop hitting 270. What a nine-game hitting streak into the game. Over that period, batting at 343. the top. He takes the pass ball inside and almost hits it. He spins away at ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. Top takes it very high at ball two. Two balls, no strike. That pitch was about a foot over the head of Rusty Stop. Next batter is the left-hand batter, John Milner. Now Fulkers goes to the rosin bag. Took down in disgust. Makes contact with the pitching rubber. Looks in for the sign. Gets set, and the 2-0 pitch. Job takes it inside, ball three. That's just off the inside corner, and it's a three-ball, no strike down. to the plate. Way inside, ball four, and the bases are loaded on one. So the bases loaded, no one out, and John Milner coming up. We pause for state identification. This is the New York Mets Baseball Network. Ralph Kiner, along with Lindsey Nelson and Bob Murphy. The Mets have the bases loaded. They're trailing by two runs. No one out. Bottom of the third, the batter is John Milner.
pitch to 11 batters. Did not give up a base hit. He walked four. Struck out two. And now with the Mets having Cleon Jones, the right-hand batter coming up, they're switching to a right-hand pitcher. Cardinals leading by a score two to nothing. They got two runs in the first and a two-run home run by Tommy H. Now let's check out what's going on. In the National League, the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Montreal Expos are playing two with Gary Park in Montreal. The first chance in the top of the sixth inning in a 1 1 tie. Bruce Keith in 2 0 against Bill Stoneman, 4 and 7. Ken Singleton hit his 23rd homer of the year and batted in his 100th run of the year. In the second, with nobody on for Montreal. At Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, the Cubs are batting in the top of the sixth inning. And they're a 4 4 tie with the Phillies. 6 4 the Phillies, 4. Rick Rush will relieve by Ray Burris in the first inning. Ken Brett is going for the Phillies. Carmen Panzone hit a two-run homer in the fourth for the Chicago Cubs, his sixth of the year. The Atlanta Braves are in Houston. Rorick Harrison, 10-7 against Don Wilson, 11-15 last night at the Astrodome. Henry Aaron hits the 712th home run of his career. San Diego at San Francisco later. Cincinnati Reds play the Dodgers later. Two balls and two strikes. On deck, 
batter for the Mets is Don Hahn, the right-hand batter. Now again, the signs are out, and again, the 2-2 pitch. Jones takes it inside. The count full now. Three balls and two strikes. That pitch was caught. Then you walked up toward the umpire, Nick Pelosi, and says something to him. Simmons turns around, also having some conversation with Nick Pelosi. Three and two the count. Bases loaded, one man out. Mets trailing by two runs. Now the pitch. Jones swings and fouls it back into the screen. So the count remains at three balls and two strikes. Mets have had only one base hit. That was by Meon as the second batter in the ballgame. That base hit knocked out starting pitcher Mike Thompson. Pitch to two batters. At 3-2, and here's the pitch. Jones fouls it back, and the count again remains at three balls and two strikes. That time, Jones fouled off a fastball that was about letter high. Capacity crowd at Jay Stadium. Fans walking around the ballpark can't get in. Stacked up on the platform that leads to the flushing line. And this ball game the third with one man out. Again, it's 3-2. Here's the pitch, and Jones hits a drive to center field. Boyd McIntyre, he'll catch it. And coming in from third base is Garrett, and the Mets get a run. So, Leon Jones on the sacrifice fly gets his 43rd run batted in. Leon holding his second base job at first, and that will bring up Don Hahn. for Dave Snack in the first inning with the bases loaded and grounded into a fourth play. Pittsburgh got a run on the top of the sixth. They lead Montreal two to one with Montreal batting in the bottom of the sixth inning. That game the first to two. And again, Pena. Set the goal. There's a wild pitch. The ball bounces into the net. The runners move up. Leon over to third. And Bob over to second. base, the go-ahead run at second base, and the count on Don Hahn is ball one. Ken Fang is going to work from the set position, no wind-up. And here's the 1-0 pitch, it's on the outside corner, the knees are called strike. One and one. hitting 231. He has had 21 runs batted in. Batting in a big situation right here. And now if one pitch is hit foul. Back into the stands, one and two. Run that scored on the sacrifice fly by Jones charged the record of...
Cardinals two runs on five hits. The Mets have one run and one base hit. And Parker's next pitch. Fast ball and too high for ball three. Three balls, no strike. Also leading the White Sox 5 0 with the White Sox batting in the bottom of the fourth. If Oakland wins that ball game, they will wrap it up. There's a strike call. It's 3 and 1. Baltimore has won the Eastern Division and Oakland just about ready. The 3 1 pitch. It has popped up into shallow left field. Moving up to the glasses down. He's under the ball. And he makes the cut. Away it brings up Joe Torrey. Joe hit into a double play his first time up. Batting 287 for this year, 13 home runs and 69 runs batted in. Torrey played just a shade toward right center by Don Hahn, the center fielder, the first pitch of fastball inside the ball. pitch. It is lined to left field to base hit and for Joe Torrey his 2,000th base hit in his major league career. That ball will be thrown out of the ball game for a Torrey souvenir. Here comes Nick Colosi up. He wants the ball and it will be given to Joe Torrey. So Joe Torrey, 0 for 5 in the series, picks up his first base hit. It's a very big one for him. Number 2,000. Puts the runner at first base with one away and brings up Luis Melendez, who singled the center field in the second. Melendez batting 264 in the first pitch by Parker. A breaking ball in at the knees, a called strike. Parker came to the Mets for the St. Louis Cardinals. Hander sets up his next delivery. Fastball hit the right center going over his top, and he'll get to it. That's the end of the ball, and he makes the catch. Throws back toward first base, but Story hustling back beats the throw easily as Milner goes up to make sure he makes the catch. Two in away, it brings up the third baseman, Ken Reach. Reach it into a double play his first time up. Cardinals leading two to one. Two men out, we're in the top of the fourth inning. First pitch to reach the right hand batter. It's line foul into the stands deep down in the left field corner. At the end of six, it's Chicago four and Philadelphia four. A one strike delivery. Pops up to shallow left field. Moving up is Jones going back as Harrelson. Harrelson makes the call. Now he's run off, and Jones makes the catch. The side retire. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left. And the score at the end of three and a half innings. The Cardinals two, the Mets one. Montreal has tied up their game with the Pirates at 2-2 two two as they bat in the bottom of the six. Here, the Mets is training by one. It's the Cardinals two, the one, and the first batter for the Mets, Jerry Grody. Rondo Pena with his first pitch. He's low with it. Ball one. Grody grounded out to second base his first time up on his first pitch. Jerry hitting 251. Now Montreal has taken the lead over the fire. Next pitch grounded out towards third. It's a foul ball. Montreal scoring another run in the bottom of the sixth. They lead Pittsburgh three to two. One ball, one strike count on Jerry Grody. Grody has batted over 300 last six weeks. And Pena into the windup. Here's the one-one delivery. It is taken at the knees, a call strike. Jerry started the swing, then held up. One ball, two strikes. Throw 
Brody will be followed by Bud Harrelson and the pitcher Harry Parker as the Mets bat here in the fourth. And the next pitch is grounded through the middle, going over Tyson and back a second. A fine play to throw the first in time for the out. Mike Tyson with range far to his left. Getting the ground ball and making a good throw to first base. One away, it brings up Bud Harrelson. Bud flight out to left field his first time up. Mets have had only one base hit. That was back in the first inning. It was a single by Felix Mion. Harrelson hitting 258. Cubs did not score in the top of the seventh. That game still tied at 4 4 with Philadelphia batting in the bottom of the seventh inning. First pitch to Harrelson, a check swing foul ball, the ground on the third base side. Bud batting left handed. Next pitch, a wild swing at a pitch down low, fourth ball at strike two. Pena, 40th appearance. He has been around a long time. Throws a fork ball, not too fast. Slider curve. Now two strikes, the pitch back to the plate. Swung on and fouled. That time the fastball fouled off. Pittsburgh's go ahead run in the sixth, scored with Sargio doubling with one out and Zisk coming right back with a double. Expos came back in their half to go ahead with one out, and there's a pitch for strike three, and Harrelson has struck out. With one out, Singleton singled. He had homered earlier in the ball game, and Lytle singled in the third. Uche pinch hit for Bacabella and singled to score Singleton for the 2 2 tie, and Foley.
Parker again off the stretch. 1-1 one, one delivery. Pena's around, butts the ball. First base side, foul ball on the ground. Out of play, glove by Milner. The count is one and two. So now, what do you do? Do you have him bunt all the way? Do you take it off and let him swing away? Garrett stays on the grass at third. Parker off today. Here's the pitch, and you squares, bunts the ball, and it is out in front of the plate. Grody has it barehanded. He goes to first in time, and holding it second. It's Tyson as Harrelson scoots over to cover third, which was left unprotected for a moment. Neon covering first, so the play goes 2-4 on the soccer pass. This ball had a lot of spin on it. Grody couldn't find it for a moment, and then took the hop barehanded and gunned it on to Neon. Lubrock's coming up. He's gone 0 for 2 so far. The Pirates are batting in the seventh inning now. First game of a doubleheader at Montreal. The Expos are leading the Pirates 3 to 2. And the Cubs are batting in the eighth inning, tied with the Phillies 4 4. Lubrock, left hand batter. Facing right hand pitcher Harry Parker. He sets and deals, and the pitch is fouled off to the left side out of play. Lubrock hitting 291 for the year. He leads the National League in stolen bases with 68 more than Joe Morgan of the Cincinnati Reds. Ted Sizemore is on deck. The Cardinals are leading here by a score of 2-1. to one. Brock with that overly close stance at the plate. One strike pitch, swung on, pops up. Shortstop, Bud Harrelson is calling. He's on the outfield grass, and he makes the catch. Holding it second is Tyson Kulwick. Ted Sizemore is one for two. He singled and was on base in the first inning when Tommy Agee hit his home run over the left field fence. The Detroit Tigers have defeated the Boston Red Sox by a final score of 3 to nothing. Joe Coleman gets his 22nd win of the year on a one-hit shutout. A one-hit shot out of the Boston Red Sox. Jim Northrup had two homers for Detroit, his 11th and 12th. Parker's pitch to the right-hand batter inside, turned him out. Tommy Agee has moved up on deck. Agee by the Cardinals from the Houston Astros had gone to Houston from the New York Mets during the offseason. This will be a 1-0 delivery. It's on the way. Swung on, popped up. Foul to third. Garrett's up on the coaching lines, and he makes the count. So Sizemore fouls out to retire the side. There was a walk and one left. In the middle of the fifth inning, the score is Cardinals two and the Mets one. The New York Mets are trailing by a run as they come up here in the bottom of the fifth inning now, and it'll be top of the batting order. Wayne Garrett to lead it off. Facing right-hand pitcher Orlando Pena. As the red turn, they started Mike Thompson today, but he worked to only two batters. Walked one, gave up a hit to the other. And despite the fact that the Cardinals had a two-run lead, he was removed, and Rich Focus was brought in. He worked two and a third, gave up one run on no hit. Struck out two and walked three. Here's a pitch to Garrett, and it's in there for a call strike. The Mets have had only one base hit in this ball game, a single by Neon in the first inning. Garrett has been up twice, and he has walked twice. Do one walk from Thompson, one from Volker. Now Pena with the pitch. Inside fastball, it's one and one. Neon is on deck. Stadium is packed and jammed here today. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed. It's 1-2. and two. There are a number of trees beyond the left center field fence. And there are spectators all over the branches of those trees out there. Here's the 1-2 delivery. Breaks inside low. Just two balls and two strikes. Summons the catcher, sending out a sign to Orlando Pena. That's came into this game having won five in a row, equaling their longest winning streak of the season. 2 2 delivery now. Swung on and it's right in the center for a base hit for Wayne Garrett. A ball flying drive picked up 
up by Agee and played back. And the Mets have a potential tying run on its first and nobody out. And the yard is coming up. The yard has been on base twice, had a base hit and walk. He's looking down to Eddie Yost to see how manager Yogi Berra wants to play it. So what do you do? Do you have me on sacrifice? Get the tie run in square position in second and let Rusty Straub and John Milner have a shot at getting him in. Joe Torrey is coming over to holding us the runner now. And against the sacrifice possibility, Ken Reese is on the grass at third. Leon choked way up on the bat. Here's the pitch and he takes it in there for a call strike. He wasn't bunning. He did not offer. That pitch was in the strike zone. So he looks down to Eddie Yost, the sign man, again, to get his information. Strike one is the count. Gary takes his lead at first base. Here's the pitch. He's around this time. Bunch the ball. First base side. And you have it. He'll have to go to first. He does the story. The sacrifice is 1-3. And it moves. Wayne Garrett to second. That is the 17th time that Mayan has sacrificed, and that is a club record. Rusty Stop. Grounded out on a check swing ground ball in the first inning and walked in the third inning. Left hand batter facing right hand pitcher Orlando Pena. There is action starting up again now in the Cardinal bullpen. Diego Segui is throwing. Diego Segui is throwing in the Cardinal bullpen. It's the Rusty Staub, and it's in there for a call strike. Started him out with a fastball. One man out, runner at second. Staub at the plate, and Milner on deck. Cardinals leading by a score of 2-1. to one. Mets batting in the bottom of the fifth inning. Shea Stadium in New York. And you got off the stick. Pitch, swung on, hammer on the ground, foul up the first base line, out of play. Falls off into the corner of the Mets dugout, actually, and the count goes 0-2. Staub turns, marches back toward the on-deck circle. He wants the pine tar rag. Right? Montreal will be here Tuesday night and Wednesday night for the Mets' two final home games of the season. Tuesday night, Gary Kuzman against Steve Rogers. And Wednesday night, Tom Seaver against Baylor Moore. Kuzman is 12 and 15. Seaver is 18 and 10. It'll be a two-strike delivery now to Rusty Staub.
It is Chicago 5, the Phillies 4, and the Phillies are batting now in the bottom of the eighth inning. Here's the third of first, not in time. The Pirates are leading Montreal 6 to 3 as they bat in the top of the seventh. Pirates and Montreal playing a double header. He 
gets there, and he makes the catch. Agee started breaking back with the crack of the bat. Straight away center field. One man is out, and Jerry Grody will be the batter. Pittsburgh got four runs. Take a 6-3 lead. They got the four in the seventh inning. Sergio Lee, his 40-second homer in the seventh with two on. For Montreal now, Chuck Taylor's in doing the pitching. For Pittsburgh, Raymond Hernandez is doing the pitching. That's the first game of a doubleheader. The end of an inning, San Diego two, the Giants one, Clay Kirby against Tom Bradley. Nate Cobert is his ninth. He's home in the first with one on for San Diego. There's a pitch to Grody, and it's in for a call strike. He bluffs the bunt. Tito Fuente is his sixth home in the first with nobody on.
left-hand batter, Ken Boswell. Hitting 222, two homers and 14 runs batted in. Simmons has gone out for a word with Pena now. Turned in four sparkling innings. He allowed no runs, only one hit. He stuck out one and he walked one. Boswell, a left hand batter. In and waiting at first base, not sure he holds against the runner, Bud Harrelson. Pena off the stretch. Ball is fouled to the right side on the ground. Corner of the mid dugout, out of play. The pitch Harrelson will lengthen out the lead. Returns to the bag now. It's strike one to Boswell. Both his home runs were pinch home runs. The season series between these two teams. The Mets have won nine and the Cardinals have won eight. Here's a third of first, not in time. Harrelson's back. Cardinals two runs, six hits. Mets two runs, four hits. The draw has finished warming up in the bullpen. It's a swing and a foul ball. All speed pitch is 0 2. Wayne Garrett waiting there on deck. Bright sunshine here at Shea Stadium right now. Time to time we've had some cloud cover this afternoon. 0 oh 2 to count to Boswell. Two men out, runner at first. Delivery. Swung on, line to the right, just a base hit. Harrelson is around second on his way to third. Melendez up, his throw goes to second. Harrelson pulls up safely at third. Boswell on with a sharp single to right. Now, runners first and third, and two men out. Wayne Garrett is the batter. He's been on base three consecutive times, walk, walk, and single. Here comes Barney Schultz, the pitching coach of the Cardinals, out to the mound. They've got... Robotsky, a left-hander. Bob Ford, a right-hander in the bullpen. Now it is Segee and Robotsky. Diego Segee is up and throwing. Schultz and Pena talking over. The time goes for the left-hander. Alan Robotsky will be coming in here. They want a left-hander to work to up left-hand batting Wayne Garrett. We'll get the ride into the electric start. He'll be making his 43rd appearance. He has won two and lost three. He worked yesterday for an inning and allowed no runs and no hits. Alan Robotsky. So, while we wait for him to come in and wait for the pitching chance to check us out on baseball action elsewhere, here's Bob Murphy. All right, let's be going to the eighth inning. Pittsburgh leading Montreal 6-3. Willie Stark goes struck the big blow, a three-run homer in the seventh inning, his 42nd home run. Hernandez on and release now for the Pirates. Tom Walker, the fourth Montreal pitcher. Remember, that is the first game of a doubleheader. The Cubs have made two pitching changes this inning. Chicago going into the last of the eighth, leading Philadelphia 5-4. to four. Ken Brad has gone all the way for Philadelphia. The Cubs now have used Russell, Burroughs, Locker, and Hoot. Atlanta, two, Houston, nothing at the end of three. Rory Harrison and Don Wilson are the pitchers. A home run by Dick Veach. Into the air and homered last night. He needs only two now to tie Babe Ruth. May not be playing in the game today, but will have five games in Atlanta to try and hit two for a tie. Giants lead San Diego 2-1 in the second. Clay Kirby and Tom Bradley are the pitchers. Home runs by Nate Colbert, his 19th, and Tito Fuente. Cincinnati at Los Angeles not underway. The magic number for the Reds is one. The Yankees defeated Cleveland 9-1. Stottlemyre the winner and Pedro the loser. The Phillies now have 
have gone ahead of Chicago by a score of 9-5. to five. They are still batting in the last of the inning. The Phillies have scored at least five runs in the eighth inning. A big help to the New York Mets. In the American League, Detroit beats Boston 3-0. Joe Coleman, the winner. Luis Tiant, the loser. Jim Northrup hit two home runs. Baltimore, a divisional crowd winner, won. Milwaukee, nothing in the fifth. Oakland about to wrap it up, leading Chicago 10-0 at the end of six. California, five. Minnesota, nothing after two. Nolan Ryan going for his 20th, and he has 355 strikeouts. Kansas City, five. Texas, one. The fourth inning. All right, Bob Murphy, the Mets now. Everyone is at first and third. Two men out. Left-hand pitcher Alan Robosti has been brought in to pitch the left-hand batter Wayne Garrett. Garrett has been on base three consecutive times, walk, walk, and single. Hitting 247 for the year, 15 homers and 53 runs batted in. The score is tied 2-2. Mets are batting in over six innings. Robotsky looks for his sign. The Mets runners lead it. Push and serve. Robotsky sets up. Here's the pitch to Garrett. Fun and miss. It's strike one. Felix Leon is next to the Mets batting order. Bud Harrison is the runner at third. Ken Boswell is the runner at first. McGraw starts to throw again in the Mets bullpen. He'll be coming in. You'll recall Parker was removed for the pinch hitter. He sets and deals. Now the swing of the drive. In the air, the deep right center. Way back toward the track. And it is one up to the wall. Down to the score. Boswell gets the green out of third. He's coming home. Boswell scores. Garrett slides into third with a triple. Two runs out of there. And the Mets are leading by a score of four to two. Radio and television service. This is Lindsey Nelson with Bob Murphy and Ralph Ganner at Chase Stadium in New York, where the Mets are leading the Cardinals by a score of four to two. That's the batting in the bottom of the sixth inning. One is at first and third. Two men out. Rusty Staub at the plate. This is low for a ball. It's one and one to Staub. He's rounded into a fourth play. Walks and single to drive and a run so far. Rusty Staub.
In the National Football League, a final score is in. A field goal in the fourth quarter from 14 yards away by Gogolak, giving the New York Giants a 23-23 tie with the Philadelphia Eagles. I think the Giants are the biggest favorite of any team in pro football on Sunday to win that ball game, but uh, they didn't make it. 23-23, a tie between the heavily favored New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. In the third period, Kurt Neider kicked a 28-yard field goal to give the Washington Redskins a 10-7 victory over the St. Louis Cardinals. However, the uh, Cardinals scored another touchdown a short time later, and as a result, that ball game is now 14-10 uh, in favor of St. Louis. That's in pro football. At the end of the first half, Green Bay leads Detroit 13-6. to Minnesota and Chicago are tied at 10 at the half. At the end of three periods, Kansas City leads New England 10 to nothing. Houston and Cincinnati are tied at 10-10 at the end of three periods. And Pittsburgh leads Cleveland 26-3 at the end of three periods. Carver comes out on deck as a potential pinch hitter. The 
wind up by McGraw, the pitch to Tyson. Screw ball, low outside, ball one. It's going to be Tim McCarver, not McCarver. Tim McCarver, veteran left hand hitter. And a high pop fly over near the right field line. Cobb coming in, throws up, he's under it. That's a side he's had. Continuing with the baseball scoreboard, Atlanta and Houston after three and a half. Atlanta leads at four nothing. San Diego and San Francisco after two and a half. San Diego leads that game two to one. Tito Fuentes and Nate Colbert hitting home runs. Colbert's 19th for San Diego. Fuentes is sixth for San Francisco Kirby against Bradley. Later on, Cincinnati at Los Angeles. One final in the American League. Detroit shut out Boston three nothing on a one hitter by Joe Coleman, who is now 22 and 15 on the season. Detroit three runs on five hits, and uh, two of those five hits were home runs by Northrop, his 11th and 12th of the season, both of them solo shots. Louis Tian got the loss, his record 19 and 13. New York is clobbering Cleveland 9 to 1 at Cleveland. That's the first game of a doubleheader. Stottlemyre against Tidrow to start. Kekic now pitching for Cleveland. Bloomberg hit his 11th and 12th home runs for New York. And Otto Valles, who was just brought up from Syracuse in the International League, uh, when the team went to the 40-man limit, hit two, his first two in the major leagues, a single shot in the second and a solo blast in the fourth inning. Well, the overflow crowd at Jay Stadium standing for the seventh inning stretch. Biggest sales were shut off 45 minutes before the first pitch was thrown. Fans hanging around, climbing trees, watching the subway ramp. Second time in the last three days, the big stadium has been jammed back. John Miller leads off against Alan Robowski in the last of the seventh inning. The Mets four, the Cardinals two. No game tomorrow. Harry Kuzman pitches against Steve Rogers of Montreal Tuesday night. Rogers has been phenomenal. He has won nine and lost four. In the four games that he has lost, they have all been well-pitched games. And a strike call to the hammer on the outside corner. Milner is 0 for 3. Wayne Garrett won yesterday's game with a two-run homer. And a breaking ball of strike. His triple at the right center in the sixth inning moved the Mets ahead by a score of 4-2. to two. Wade now has 55 runs batted in. And a swing and a foul coming straight back. Ten more RBIs than Wayne has ever had before in one year. But the way he has hit in September has been beautiful. The month of September, the Mets have won 16, lost only six. And a foul ball back up into the press box. In driving to the top of the Eastern Division, the Mets have won 9 of their last 11, 14 of their last 18, 20 of their last 27. A week deep into August, they were still 11 and a half games out. And a towering pop foul, hoping for a play, is Corey. He comes over to the railing, and it's in the crowd. Leon Jones and Don Hahn face Alan Robowski. We are now in the last of the seven. Ninth inning at Philadelphia. The Phillies lead Chicago 9-5. to five. Last of the eighth inning at Jerry Park. Pittsburgh leading Montreal 6-3. to three. Low outside. The Pirates, in effect, have four more games to play than the New York Mets. So, regardless of how well the Mets play, they must have somebody beat Pittsburgh. Here, percentage-wise, there were the Pirates playing back-to-back doubleheaders. They would not win them all, but you never know. Usually in a doubleheader, the percentage just favor a split. Swing out of this. Milner is struck out. First strikeout for Alan Robosky. It will bring up Cleon Jones. Leon has walked. Batted in a run with a well-hit sacrifice fly in the third inning. He hit into a force play in the fifth inning. The last 
last five games, Cleon has driven nine runs across the plate. Grabowski looking into Simmons to get his side. And the pitch on the way to Cleon Jones is low. One ball and no strike. New York four runs on six hits. Same two runs on six hits. Cleon holding up. It breaks low. Two balls and no strikes. The Cardinals have called on four pitchers. The Mets have called on three. The bullpen can rest tomorrow. The Mets have tomorrow off. The 2 0 delivery, low ball three, three and nothing. In the New York bullpen, Jim McAndrew and Bob Miller, who have just joined the New York Ball Club, are loosening up their arms. Crossing behind the plate. The pitch to Cleon works the outside corner of strike. It's three and two. Jones, Staub, and Garrett have knocked the runs in for the New York Mets today. Montreal out of the eighth inning without scoring. Pittsburgh ahead six to three going to the ninth. And a fly ball. Well hit to right by Jones. Just deep. Back toward the fence.
Kowalski delivers three and two. And a bloop fly ball down the right field line, headed for foul ground, out of play. It's all over, but it became a scare. The Phillies defeated the Cubs 9 to 7. Cubs got two in the ninth inning and fell two runs short. Philadelphia defeating Chicago but 9 to 7, ending the Cubs' five game win streak. So, if the Mets can win this game, they will lead Chicago by three and a half games. Three two pitch to Han. Drive going foul down the right field line. No play. Touchdown pass to Justin tied up the Colts, 10 10 and a third. 3 2 pitch, ball four, and Don Hahn has reached on a walk. This brings Barney Schultz out of the dugout and Red Sandys is coming out to talk with the plate umpire, Nick Colosi. Diego Segui is in the bullpen along with Scipio Spink. I would think that Red is contemplating a dual change as he talks with Colosi because the pitcher, Al Rabowski, is scheduled to lead off in the top of the eighth inning. And so it will be a double change. But Carver is coming in the ballgame and he will bat ninth. And Joe Torrey perhaps will go to third base and Ken Reese will come out. Or Reese may move over to another spot. Tyson, the shortstop, made the last out. That's the man that won out of the ball game. So Torrey will move to third. And Reese will come out of the game. They want to have a glove at shortstop. New York ahead 5-2. to two. We're in the last of the seventh inning. San Diego Segui is coming in the ballgame. Here are the attendance figures coming in. Largest paid crowd of the year. 51,926. The total crowd, including the Mitchell Met program, 54,701. So the paid crowd today is 51,926. It's a crowd 54,701. Diego Segui will do the pitching. It will be his 62nd ball game of the year. He has won six and lost six. Ken Reese comes out of the ball game. So Diego Segui will be hitting number seven. And the first baseman, Tim McCarver, is now batting ninth. That means McCarver will lead off in the eighth inning. Al Rabowski is out of the game. He came on to replace Orlando Pena. And Wayne Garrett smashed a long triple to deep right center, driving home Harrelson and Boswell. Boswell had delivered another pitch single for Boswell, his 12th pitch of the year. Montreal game is in the last of the night. The Pittsburgh ahead 6-3. It's the first game of a doubleheader. Pittsburgh's using Bruce Keeson and Ramon Hernandez in the opener. Pirates actually lead the Mets by one game in the loss column. If the Pirates should win all the remaining games, there is no way the Mets can win it. So somebody has to beat the Pirates at least the ball game. 
Jerry Grody up against Diego Segui. And the pitch by the right-hander, a swing out of a strike one. Cardinals two. Don Hahn is on first base, one man away. And the fourth ball is full foul over the head of Eddie Yost, coaching at third. Tomorrow, a day off. Jerry Kuzman against Steve Rogers Tuesday night, Willie Mays night. Tom Seaver and Bailey Baylor Moore on Wednesday night. Fever will be going for his 19th. The pitchers of record of this game are Harry Parker and Orlando Pena. Diego Segui, the fifth Cardinal hurler. In the Cardinal bullpen now is Lou Krause and Tom Murphy, two right-handers. And the pitch by Segui is high. One ball, two strikes to Jerry Grody. Jerry, one for three, singled to get things going in the inning. He was erased in a force play, but Boswell followed with a pinch single. A pitching change is made. Rabowski, a left-hander, came in to face Garrett, a left-hand hitter. Garrett tripled to right center, driving two home. He had made it four to two. Leon Jones has homered at his five to two. There goes Hahn. Hit a run play and a pop fly into short right field. Hahn coming back the other way. Now to throw to second base and he's out. Todd Hahn was running to second on a hit and run play. Rody lunged at the ball and hit a pop fly that landed for a base hit in short right field. Hahn thought the ball was going to be caught. He turned and was running back to first. Then was an easy force out in second. Melendez to Tyson, and Grody loses a base hit. Don Hahn misjudging the ball, and it cost a scoring opportunity. Jerry Grody loses a base hit. Bud Harrelson, the batter. Two men away, Grody on first base. Bud has gone 0 for 3. Takes outside and low, ball one. The line score at Philadelphia. Philadelphia had nine runs, 12 hits, and one error. Chicago had seven runs on 16 base hits. They made three errors. Ken Brett won his 13th game. Bert Newton, the loser, in relief. Under the knees to Buddy Harrelson. Two balls and no strikes. Weekend, a day game Friday, a doubleheader Sunday, the final game, a doubleheader Saturday, and the final game on Sunday a week from today. Pitch to McGraw, swung and missed, strike one. The Pirates had a game rained out with San Diego that will be made up when the season is over if it has a bearing on the outcome. It probably will. And the pitch. Ground ball hit down to third. Torrey grabs it and steps on third. 
fourth play to retire the side. In the seventh inning, one run on the home run by Cleon Jones. There were two hits, no errors, and two left. Now, at the end of seven, the New York Mets five and the St. Louis Cardinals two. Let's update the baseball scoreboard now. Here's a final in the National League. Bad news for Cub fans. The Philadelphia Phillies defeated the Cubs today 9-7. to The total is 9-12-1 for Philadelphia. For Chicago, 7-16-3. Brett wins his 13th against three losses. Houston, the loser. His mark is now 13-15. and In the first of two at Montreal, after eight and a half, Pittsburgh leads the Expos 6-3. to The first of two games at Montreal. St. Louis of New York is our game, of course, and the uh, Mets lead five to be going to the top of the eighth in a moment with the Cardinals at bat. After three and a half, Atlanta leaves Houston four to nothing. San Diego at San Francisco after three. The Padres two, and the Giants one. Later start Cincinnati at Los Angeles. In the American League after seven, the Yankees. Pittsburgh defeated Montreal 6-3 in the first game of their doubleheader today at Jerry Park. Bruce Keeson and Ramon Hernandez combined for the victory. Bill Stoneman, the loser. The big blow, a three-run homer by Willie Starchill, his 42nd home run of the year. Dave Johnson of Atlanta leading the league and the majors in home runs with 43. The Cubs, that helps New York. It was 9 to 7, but Pittsburgh beat Montreal 6 to 3. Atlanta 4, Houston nothing after four innings in the Astrodome. Then the Braves go to Atlanta for their last five ball games. Henry Aaron will have five games at home in Atlanta where they fly. They hit two home runs to tie the incomparable Babe Ruth. Giants 2 and San Diego 1 in the fourth inning. Tonight, if the Reds beat the Dodgers, or this afternoon, if they defeat the Dodgers, it's all over in the Western Division. The Yankees defeated Cleveland 9-1. Stottlemyer won his 15th. Otto Velez had two home runs in the game. Tim McCarver is up against Doug McGraw. Inside and low, it is ball one. Yankee game at Cleveland, the first of a doubleheader in the nightcap. Doc Meddich and Mil- Mil- Wilcox are the pitchers. Now McGraw delivers to McCutt a foul coming back. One ball and one strike. Joe Coleman won his 21st, and he pitched a one-hit shutout as Detroit beats Boston 3-0. One pitch, ground ball hit toward the middle, moving to his right, feeling me out. He has it on the builder, one down. One away in the Cardinal A's inning, it will bring up Lou Brock. Well, Sandy Alper advises us the temperature is now 83 degrees. Summer weather came back to New York. Baseball weather. Baltimore leading Milwaukee, one to nothing in the sixth inning with McNally trying to win his 17th. Oakland just about has it wrapped up. They lead Chicago 10-2 in the eighth inning. And the game is over, and if they win it, it's all over in the Western Division of the American League. By the Blue going for his 20th. Blue Brock waiting. Fastball, low ball one. Nolan Ryan going for his 20th. California leads Minnesota 7 to nothing in the fourth inning. Breaking ball, knee high, one ball, one strike. Kansas City leading Texas six to four after five innings. Doug McGraw with a count of one ball and one strike on Lou Brock. Ted Sizemore is on deck. Nuts five, the Cardinals two. This is the eighth inning. Low outside, two balls and a strike. Need a victory to maintain their one-game lead over the Pittsburgh Pirates. The two-one pitch, low ball three, three and one. And if Pittsburgh wins the doubleheader, and 
the Mets win here, the Pirates would gain a half game. Trail New York by one half game. 3 1 pitch. Inside, Brock has reached on a walk. Jerry Grody walks out toward the mound and talks to Doug McGraw. Ed Sizemore will be the hitter. Second baseman Sizemore, one for three, singled in the first and came around to score on Tommy A. Two run homer. Nothing going in the New York bullpen. McGraw from the stretch fires a fastball inside. One ball, no strikes to size one. The 1 0 delivery over a call strike is 1 and 1. One delivery misses the inside corner. It's two balls and a strike. That's through the infield straight away, hoping to make the double play. The outfield is set up straight away. Milder holding against base runner Brock. The two one way up high, ball three. And Doug McGraw close to being on the edge of some trouble here. is the on-deck batter. Then the cleanup hitter, Ted Simmons. Pitching three and one. He's taking, and it's a fastball of strike three and two. They have size more taking on three and one. They'd like for him to work out a walk if he possibly can. Brock edging away. The three-two pitch. Lined foul deep down the left field line, no play. That ball hit a long way by Ted Sizemore. McGraw makes the one second stop, delivers, and a half swing foul. He went after a screw ball on three and two. That might have been out of the strike zone had he not fouled it off. Sizemore. Kick of the leg, around comes the arm, and ball four. The draw has walked Sizemore. And now things get a little uneasy. The dying run, Tommy Agee, is coming to bat. The draw suddenly has walked two in a row, Brock and Sizemore. coming in from shortstop. Milner comes over from first base. A little milling around now, the New York bullpen. Veteran Bob Miller will start warming up. Hazy has one for three, the two-run homer in the first inning. McGraw's pitch on the way. Ground ball to short. Could be a double play. Harrelson to be on. And now the first double play. Third double play of the game. Turned by the infield of the New York Mets. No run. So hits, no errors, and one left. In the middle of the eighth inning. The New York Mets five and the St. Louis Cardinals two. Let's check some National Football League scores. Here's some finals. Pittsburgh has defeated Cleveland 33-6, and Cincinnati trips Houston 24-10. A third period scores. Kansas City shutting out New England 10-0. Also a third period score, New York Jets 13, the Baltimore Colts 10, and a final Philadelphia New York battle that's the Giants and the Eagles battled to a 23-23 tie. In the fourth period, Minnesota leads Chicago 17-10. At the end of three quarters, Green Bay, Detroit, 10-3. 
In the fourth period, St. Louis leads Washington. Here's a surprise, 24 to 10. Later starts, we'll have San Francisco at Denver, Atlanta at Los Angeles, Buffalo at San Diego, and Miami at Oakland. We understand the first period, though, Oakland leads Miami 3-0. The Monday night game will be uh, between the New Orleans Saints and the Dallas Cowboys at Dallas. So we had three finals, Pittsburgh winning, Cincinnati winning, and the Eagles and Giants fighting to a tie. Last of the eighth inning. Diego Segui pitching for the St. Louis Cardinals. The starter faced two batters. The Polkers came in, worked two and a third. And you have three and a third, then Rabowski. Now Rabowski worked two thirds of one inning. He faced three batters in the sixth inning, yielded a triple, an intentional walk, and retired stop. Then he faced three in the seventh inning, struck out Nona for John Homer, and he walked out. Big hand for Wayne Garrett. It was Garrett who broke the tie. He tripled off for Rabowski, driving home Harrelson and Boswell, and putting New York into the lead four to two. What a game for Wayne Garrett. He has been up four times on base all four. A single, a triple, and two walks. And a foul coming back. Pitch on the way, high inside, one ball and one strike. In the ninth inning, Ted Simmons, Joe Torrey, and Luis Melendez back for St. Louis. The 1 1 delivery by Diego Segui, change up, and it's over, a ball strike. He made quite a pitch, and the count is one ball, two strikes. Sadecki gets up for the New York Mets. Down comes the pitch. Swing at him. Get out out for the first time in the ball game. And Wayne getting ahead as he comes back to the dugout. Felix Dion has been on base three times out of four. Officially one for one. He has walked twice and sacrificed. Pitch by Diego Segui, a fastball, missing wide, one ball and no strike. Two home games remain, four at Wrigley Field, Chicago, where it's a tough place to win. And the pitch by Segui, breaking ball, a strike. Last time the Mets were in Chicago, it was a four-game series. They won two and lost two. Actually, you might say they won two and gave two away. They should have won all four. Swing out of it. One ball and two strikes. Over the years, the Mets have played the Cubs very well. Not this year, but in previous years they have. And until the last series here in New York, every time they had played the Cubs this year, the Cubs were in first place. That's won the last series. The one-two delivery hit hard, foul down the right field line. Again, the Cubs were in New York. The Mets won the series two out of three. One two pitch to Felix Beyond in the dirt. Blocked by Ted Simmons. That evens the count two two. Play. 
It might be that the Cubs would be out of it by the time the Mets get to Lincoln Field next weekend. They have three games in St. Louis. Well, they have three games in Lincoln Field. Well, Psychologically, it would be to the Mets advantage for them to be out of it. Some people would say, well, they'll be loose and a lot harder to beat. But if they're in the race, that ballpark would be jammed. The 2-2 delivery, under the knees, all three, three and two. One out and nobody on, last of the eighth inning. The veteran right-hander is pitch on the way, hit foul down the left field line, no play. will probably wind up with a home attendance of about 1,900,000. At the moment, they have drawn 1,837,573. Well, Three two pits. Ground ball hits slowly towards second baseman Sizemore. Side on throw on to McCarver, two down. It's Doug McGraw protects the lead in the ninth inning. His last 14 appearances, he will have four wins and ten saves. took a kickoff from the Redskins and came 97 yards up the middle with great blocking to score. Then on the ensuing kickoff, Herb Mulkey took the ball near the end zone and he went the length of the field for two straight kickoffs and two straight touchdowns. So let's see. We'll add these points up right now. Looks like the St. Louis Cardinals 31 and the Washington Redskins 24. One of the exciting games going on right now in National Football League. 
Let's see, we gave you three finals a while ago, so let's see what else we have to report on. Minnesota and Chicago in the fourth period, the Vikings lead the Bears by a score of seven. Beats the 
Cardinals. The Mets have now won six in a row. Doug McGraw being congratulated. That ball hit pretty well by Tyson. Leon Jones back near the warning track to make the cut. 